What is going on everybody? My name is Austin Jodelski and I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do a single frame alignment using synth eyes. So this is really easy if you're doing shots like this that are kind of arch viz that have a lot of very straight lines. So the first thing you want to do is come up here, go to file, import shot, and then import the image into synth eyes. You want to come up under the lens tab. And if the actual grid is turned on, I would just turn it off personally, go under view, show lens grid. So what we want to do now is determine the X, Y, and Z axis in synthize here. You are using Y at mode as well as that's what my is. So that's what we're going to track for. So the first line that we want to draw in is the Y line and just push parallel to Y axis. You can zoom in and make sure that it's lined up this one's fine. Next, we're going to draw another line and this one's going to be on X axis. Notice this one here has an arrow that determines what's going to be positive or negative. You can switch that around by switch by pushing this button over here on the left. Next, we're going to draw another Y line. And we're going to push. On Y axis with length, so you can actually set the size of a scene by using the on length feature. Let's say that let's estimate that this wall is 10 feet tall. This line is roughly about halfway up that up that wall. So if we set this to five, we can actually set it to five feet to determine the scale. Now we want to start dropping lines all over the scene to make sure that it has enough information to determine the focal length. So let's draw another line over here. We're going to go parallel to X axis and draw another line parallel to Y axis. Let's do one last Y line here just because it's such a large one and we'll go parallel to Y axis again. Draw one last line here and we'll go parallel to Z axis so that we can set the depth and one final line here and we'll go parallel to Z axis again. So now if you come across over here on the left side, you see the line button, push that and synthize is going to try to calculate what it thinks that the focal length should be of the camera. So now in order to check that, we'll go up to the 3D tab, push this wand here, and we're going to draw a cube. Now if we use the move tool and move it around the scene, as you can see the cube now, anytime that you bring it up to an X, Y, or Z axis that should be straight, the cube is going to perfectly line up with it. If the cube is no longer lining up with it, you should jump back over into the lens tab, add more lines or delete lines that you think are inaccurate and then re realign it. Now to get the camera actually out of synthize and into Maya, we're going to delete the cube. We're going to go up to file, export, scroll down. We're going to push Maya ASCII scene. I'm just going to name it camera export and press OK. Now that we're in Maya, we're going to want to push file import and we're going to pick the file which I named camera export perspective you'll see that the camera is now there here's the actual image plane attached if it is no longer attached you just want to come into the actual camera settings come under environment and hit create on the image plane that'll give you an option to actually import an image name or an image file push the folder button and find the file now if we create a cube You'll see that it lines up with the actual scene perfectly. Just going to extrude until we get all the bases here. Well, there is a quick tutorial on how to do a single frame alignment using synthize and importing it into Maya. Thank you for watching.